Hey guys, here is number 9, back with more Always Summer Monsters. So last episode, uh, we, uh, took a shower and did some things in the shower, and then found out our best friend is getting married to our ex. And, uh, yeah. She didn't invite us, but he did, and, yeah. Hmm. Pancakes and sausages. Probably not the best meal even for a fitting, but what are you gonna do? Fitting? Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting my wings even fitting, but I haven't picked, out, picked the style yet. Are you trying to get a little closer to that kind of fitting? Yeah, but you know me. I'm terrible at making decisions. I always freeze up, and you need to do it for me. Yeah, that's a good way of solving this. I'll just let you pick. You want me picking what you see for you? Yeah, just hold on a second. Yeah, turn on this. Um... Not cheap, but damn, do they look good. Jesus, you might need a pricey. Which one I need your help? I want to blow this money, why not I'm looking bad? You pick one, not hold it. Then I don't want to think about it anymore. You really want me to pick? Yeah, of course, I trust you. Well, if you really want me to pick, I hate you. So make you look like a nerd. Um. Uh, go with white. I think the white one's best for you. She got me going a little edgier. Breaks all the rules, but it's a good fit for you. You may think it's going with white, huh? Huh. You may not show a match to me while well, I'm gonna be pissed. Um. Damn, should we have him go gray instead? Nah. Go for it, I think it looks great. No, I don't. Thanks, Tucker. It's gonna be awesome, I've never cut some clothes before. They were away during the entire trip. Trip? You can definitely come with us. Excuse me? Tell I'm gonna find the spinning coin in Las Vegas. Really? <laughs> 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 Oh man, really? <laughs> oh man, lots of virus. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Well, moon smokes already and everything. It's gonna be one hell of a bachelor party. Bachelor party, huh? We're going all out. It's gonna be a blast. Shows, family, and game pistol. Yep, your bachelor party is probably the last time you can get out of your mind drunk before you get married. You have to come, I absolutely insist. You know, that sounds like a... You know, that sounds like a pretty good time. But I'm pretty broke right now. Too much to get here. I don't think I'm gonna cash for a flight. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll cover the expense, don't sweat it. Now, how the hell can you afford that? Oh. 
My promise is to the fundamental for the entire party. Apparently, the friends of the casino manager or something. They've got a good deal. Whatever the case, it will all be taken care of, so there's no reason not to come. Did you say publisher? You got a deal? Yeah, I did. I mean, we just saw a little while ago. So it's still sinking in. Oh, we should know the dreams finally come true, I tell ya. Oh, I didn't mean to. What are you saying, you bitch? Well, you saw my daughter, I promise you I'm sending in time. You'll forget about everything. I mean, it means just like, it means just like all the time. When you were mean to me, you know. We'll see you I'm not in there. I need you. We know we're talking about going to Las Vegas one day. I just never figured because you and Crystal were getting married. Come on, don't even think about that. This is about right, you and me. I miss you. Bros before a house. You really want me to come here back to the party, huh? Alright, I'll come. I mean, how many times do I get an all expense paid trip to Las Vegas? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be the best, just you wait. No one will be outside to take us to the airport, so we we'll be ready to go after dinner. A limo? Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, I missed my ride to the fitting. Can't jump to the airway in the airport, alright? Okay, I'm really gonna go. See ya. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, um, now what? Uh, like, no one have any pets. Can I get one there? Mm. Ah, my controller is so messed up. I guess we just go to sleep and take a nap. Hey, what the, the fuck are you doing here, Casey? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Tucker. Did I start on you? No, I just didn't expect you to be in here. Oh, well, I just popped in to make up the room. Can't let it get too messy, you know? That's true, but why are you reading my journal? Hey! Can't do that! Journal, oh. I assumed it was the man who sent me my work on all this time. Don't assume you're making an ass of you or me, you bitch. You never bother to share any of it with me, so I thought I'd take a look. It's my journal! That was my private journal! Well, I figured that out now, obviously. Pretty much supposed to be on by anyone. Well, it's a little late for that, I suppose. Once I started going through it, I couldn't really stop. It's completely immoral of you. Hey there, look who's talking. Excuse me? Well, where do I begin exactly? For me to seem you haven't been having a spotless record this past month. I'm sorry, Casey, are you judging me? No, that's not my duty. However, I do have some questions considering you come all this way just for my daughter's wedding. 
I mean, what is your intent exactly? We have to gain that about this. Why you come here? I'm still win her back. But me and I'm hoping there might be a chance to win her back. After the way things ended, I haven't been happy since. While I'm questioning life was the worst mistake I ever made. Maybe it'll all be for nothing, maybe not. I just can't live the rest of my life wondering what could happen, what would happen if I had tried. Whether I'm the one she wants and end or not, it doesn't really matter. She has to know I'm still an option. Look, I don't really care why you're here. Crystal or don't, it doesn't mean me watching over her. I just hope you understand that she deserves someone to want to make her happy. Maybe that's you or maybe not. But it's not for me to say. That's a decision Crystal needs to make all alone. Maybe it's a decision that's already been made. What I mean is there's some stuff in here I'm sure you're not proud of. Like this, for example. I mean, hearing that a man you interviewed for the paper he killed himself? Yeah, it was terrible. What I was though is whether or not you think you could have helped him. Do you feel responsible for death at all? But no, I didn't kill him. No, absolutely not. Jack was on the brink away. I had no part in pushing him over the edge. Can't save someone once and die. You can't pull them back from the brink. They will do what they want because they have to. We don't care saying it. That's not... Well, I mean, you know... I wouldn't say that, but... There are times when they're so hell-bent on doing this, there's nothing you can do, but you can at least try. I see, but what about this? When the friend girl from the sick, you didn't blackmail the doctor for free health care? Yeah, I mean, would you want that doctor operating on you? Knowing why he's dumbing the teddy bear? You, you want to see me poke him without and bullying you into helping you? Bullying him into helping you? You really been justified considering you were just doing a job. With the right moon, with the right to my friend not in the red in? Yeah, sure, was right. We were too much life on the line, and that bastard wants to let money decide. Between so doing nothing and doing what we did, I'll take the lesser of the two even any day. Alright, but there's more here too. Let me tell you what the job it was when you mentioned a strike going on. Had you not taken it? Same to say the union would have had to listen to the parts of it a little more. Would the one undermine the strength from the money you made? Um. Yes. Yeah, it's a free market. They don't want one. The folks like me can pick up the slack. No sense feeling bad about it. It's business. Hmm, I see what you're saying. And if all this was bad enough, you then tried to break in the beaten city hall. Correct. I want you that you weren't pushing into it. You could have lost away. Alright, we'll finish up with the questions in the next episode. Peace out. We'll see you all later.